Hi everyone. So, as you may remember, on this on this in this series one viewing later, we usually take a look at movies and well TV shows that I have not yet seen. Well, well, although today I decided to do something pretty different. You see, it's June now, and as some of you probably didn't know, June is my is the month of my birthday. So, I thought has a special way to celebrate. I decided that we will be taking a look of I mean taking a look at some movies and maybe a few TV shows, like maybe possibly a favorite episode from a TV show I like. Like like that I actually grew up watching that are actually from my childhood. Yeah, cuz honestly, what the heck? It's a sp this is a this is like, you know, a very special month for me. So, yeah, so throughout this whole month, we will be taking a look at movies I actually seen, you know, just be looking back and, you know, like talking about the nostalgic of how I feel about it and all. So, yeah, so I thought the very first one we do would be the Chipmunk Adventure, you know, Alvin the Chipmunks' very first, you know, theatrical film before the live action stuff. And before those Universal Monster movies, you know, where the chipmunks cross paths, you know, with Universal's famous monsters that I did actually take a look at back, back during Halloween time, if you want to check those out. So, yep. So, why don't we get on with it? Oh, okay. So, what do I got to say about this, well, movie? Well, I will admit, I mean, it's got a few things, but my gosh, you know, watching it again, you know, like 22 years later, ugh, I tell ya, ugh. like, ugh, like, I tell ya, I, I was feeling nostalgic all over again, like, really. And I mean, really, like, I mean, really, like, I tell you, the songs really got me hype, even though, although there have been times before where I go back and listen to the songs generally, because what the heck, I feel nostalgic and just want to hear them all over again. <laughs> now, let me tell you a few things. I really like the songs in this movie. Like, I, like, as a kid, I would sing along to the songs from this movie. Like, I mean, really. In fact, I gotta admit, one of the best songs in the whole movie gotta be, well... I gotta be off to see the world, and but the biggest one of them all, Girls of Rock and Roll. I mean, psh, that was my jam back in the day, I tell ya, and still kind of is. Like, I mean, really. Like, it's so 80s, I tell ya. In fact, funny story. So, when I was in elementary school one time, um, I was actually singing along to Girls of Rock and Roll, and I was singing the Chipmunks' part, and um, as I guess we were walking somewhere, um... I, I was singing Boys of Rock and Roll part, and they were, and I guess this one girl who I was walking was like, are you even a boy? I'm like, oh. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think she had any idea I was, I was singing a song from a movie, you know, from the 80s, but hey. So yeah, good. Although, there is one other thing. You know, like, a few things that kind of went over my head when watching this movie. Like, I'm sure you all, you're all familiar with the little getting lucky scene, right? Yeah, exactly. Psh. Let me tell you something. That, I, I remember as a kid, I would sing along to this and just had no idea what it was about. Like, really. I didn't even get the idea that it was about, like, you know, getting lucky. Psh. Like, I mean, really, like, like, heck, I even, sometimes I even wonder, like, when I go back and listen to songs them sometimes, I even wonder what, what my parents thought when I sang along to this part in the song. But then again, they probably thought, eh, she's young, she doesn't know. But hey, now I do. <sighs> like, my goodness. And also, besides that, can we also talk about how weird it is that a human prince actually wanted to, like, you know, marry one of the Chibets? Like, what the heck? Like, I didn't even think about that. But, but I will admit, yeah, pretty weird. And, um, also, I think the other thing I do want to talk about is, well, the My Mother scene. As a kid, I never actually cried to that scene, unlike a lot of you. And honestly, you all know I'm autistic. And well, when it comes to, you know, sad moments in movies, they don't usually make me cry, but they do get me in the feels. Like, I mean, they get me feeling like sad or a little bit 
Like, let me tell ya, I, I, there were times I felt a little bit of emotion when watching that scene, but kind of didn't really do so this time around. But when the, the baby penguin reunites with his family, now that's when it kind of got me for some reason. Don't know why, but yeah. But overall, it's a good movie nonetheless. Highly recommend. So anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.